everybody, it's Ashley here and welcome back. Today we're going to be turning this dresser into a bench. So the story about this dresser was it was going to get thrown out and I was like, no, I will take it and I will transform it. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Right, Riley? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So um, <laughs> I have another commentator with me and it's Riley. So anyways, let's get started on this transformation, guys. So first things first, we're going to remove these drawers. This top drawer gave me a little problem, so I had to use a little leg work there. Um, <laughs> so the next thing that we're going to do is remove the tracks from the dressers. Now, I just needed to remove the top one, but I just decided to remove the bottom one as well. Never hurts to do that. The next thing that I did was remove the back. Now, there was a lot of screws on here, and then I didn't show that part. So I'm just removing the staples now from the back. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the top. I'm using a crowbar and I'm just kind of peeling it down and then we're going to turn it and flip it over and we're going to remove the three screws that are in the back of the dresser. Next step is remove this top part because we're turning this into a bench. All right, so now we're gonna move on to measurements. Now we measured out the plywood that I got from Lowe's. It cost about five or six dollars, and um, we measured where we need to cut it so that it fit inside. Um, after we did this, we took it to the table saw, of course, and we did our first cut. Now, after we did this first cut, we went back to the um, dresser and we saw that it fit inside so now the next step is to be cutting out the sides so that we can slide it up and it'll be a perfect fit so here he's just marking where he needs to um push it to cut and stop and push it to cut and stop again so we'll just have that um piece that's gonna come off and then we're gonna put it back on the bench and voila we have a perfect fit the next step is taking our ruler and we're going to measure how high we need to cut each piece of the wood. So we marked it at 10 inches a piece and then we took it to the miner saw and we did each cut. Next step is to use our nail gun and nail the bottom. Disclaimer, make sure that you're wearing shoes. I was not, but safety first, guys. Um, then we're going to sand the top to make sure it's smooth. I'm now going to start prepping the piece, uh, and I'm going to sand down any of the rough spots that I see on um, the dresser. So now we're going to use our Waverly in hazelnut, and we are going to start with our first coat. And what I'm doing here is I'm using water because it's kind of a thick paint, so I'm kind of watering it down a little bit. Okay, so after I did the first coat, these little holes appeared. I don't know why I didn't see them before. So we're just going to take our Bondo and we're going to patch them up. And I did this around the whole entire um, dresser where I saw those holes. So now we're going to take our sander and we're just going to sand off all of the Bondo. And then as you can see here, um, you can see where it patched in the little holes. There you go. Close up view. After I did that, I did um, another coat and then I did a second coat and this coat is um, called Savannah and that is by Folk Art. Now we're going to use Cashew again by um, Waverly and we're going to start with our spackle and from each corner we're going to scrape it down until we start to move everything into the middle of the dresser and that is how we get the design that you're going to see um, later when I show you the finished product. So you probably thought that ding that went off was your phone, but it was literally mine. <laughs> but what we're doing now is we're going to remove the paint that seeped through with our spackle. So now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to use my hand and I'm going to blend that paint in. I'm going to show you how I'm doing that a little bit better here in the front. So we're just going to blend, 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 blend the paint. So now we're going to start to construct the seat and I'm going to put the cushion. This is a two inch cushion, by the way, and I'm going to cut it so that it fits perfectly. And then I put the wood in the back so I can push it forward so we can cut out the top. So it oh, well, the top, the front, so it fits perfectly as well. 
So now it's time to add the fabric. I'm just cutting it to make sure that it is a correct size. And then I'm going to make sure that I pull it very um, taut to the front so that it covers that piece of wood that we cut to make the bench. I then I'm going to cut the corners and I'm going to fold it to make sure it's a perfect fit. And then I'm going to take our nail trim and nail it down to the side so that we can start to pull so we can place the other ones. And this is how it looks after we've put all the nail heads on. Okay, so the next step is we're going to stain each individual wood. Of course, we're using dark walnut, my favorite stain. And this is how they all look after they're all finished. Um, we just stained them and I put polyurethane on top of each one. All right, so now I'm going to come with my staple gun and I'm just going to start to pull the fabric tight around the cushion so that it's secure. Okay, so now that our wood is dried, we're just going to now carefully go around the dresser and start to nail each um, plank to the dresser. This is how it looks after we have them all nailed to the dresser. Now we're going to start constructing the top and we're just going to come to our table saw and we're just going to start cutting off where we need to cut so that it surrounds the dresser. Here we're just going to start to use that plunge cut so that we can cut out the back and not like cut through the wood on each side. All right, now we're putting it on the top and it is a perfect fit. And the next step is to use our handy dandy nail gun to nail it to the dresser. All righty, next step is sanding. <laughs> I love the sander belt, okay? It's heavy duty, gets done. Gets it done. So after we're done sanding, I'm gonna come in with the Bondo, fill in all the nail holes, and then begin to paint. Now I'm gonna come in with my glue gun and we're gonna start to glue the trim around the top of the bench to cover any gaps. the finished product after we put the hardware on it just pulls it all together i love the way this turned out i hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not and i will see you guys in the next tutorial bye